Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and my friends with AllFreeKnitting.com and I would like to present you with the decreased crown on the 48 peg purple Nifty Knitter loom. This is a smaller gauge loom for adult sized hats so you get um, a nice tighter stitch. I've got one that I'm ready to decrease but um, I'm going to actually show this in two tutorials so the first one will be the standard way of doing it and leaving it on this loom and part two will be taking it and transferring it over to a smaller loom and decreasing it even further and keep in mind if you do that step it's going to add um, more yarn to your project and also um, it may make a, ta um, a flatter uh, hat. I want that for the style of hat I'm doing. You don't have to transfer it. You can do just this step here. What you're going to need if you do transfer is some scrap yarn and you'll need that for later but for right now you need stitch markers and I'm just using these little rubber bands but if you have stitch markers that can go over your pegs then we'll use that. You need about this much uh, maybe a little less but about this much left of your yarn in order to decrease uh, twice and um, let's get started on the decrease crown. I'm going to start by taking my first peg. Um, I'm actually going to go clockwise here. Um, my first peg next to the starter peg and I'm going to lift this up and go ahead and put on a stitch marker. Again just using rubber band here. Put it back on. Now I'm going to count out six pegs and I'm going to have a section of six all the way around. So you're going to get eight sections and we're going to mark every peg. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So what would be the seventh peg or now your new one is going to be another stitch marker. You're going to do this all the way around your loom and meet back up and you should have eight sections of six. Be sure and count them and double check before moving on to make sure that they are all exactly even. You don't want to have uh, the wrong number. So thanks and we'll meet back up. Okay, so we have six sections of eight. I'm sorry. Okay, we're back and I've got my eight sections of six all the way around my loom. And look carefully because mine aren't that significant in the video, but I can see them here. So just double check and make sure that you've got your numbers right. And we're going to, if you're familiar with this technique, now that you know the sections, you may not need the rest of the video, but keep in mind, if you do want to decrease on a second time and transfer the loom, I am going to have a video for that if you need a little bit of uh, help. So we're going to take our second peg over to our first peg, and each section I'm calling the one through six pegs. So every time I say take your second peg to your one, you're going to do that in each section. So this section, we're going to take this peg and put it over here. And I, I actually find that it's easier just to go ahead and twist it out of its out of its twist there. It gives a little bit um, more bulk, and it's okay to untwist it. And it's really hard um, to do if you don't untwist it. It can be way too tight. So if you've experienced that, then um, this will be uh, easier for you. So go all the way around and take your second peg over to your first. And you can knit over as you're going. Oh, I think I did that. Go all the way around and come back. We are done with knitting over. We've got made the two peg over to one. We've knitted over and now we're going to reinforce this row by knitting over all the um, remaining pegs by wrapping them. So we're going to e-wrap the remaining pegs, skipping the ones that are blank now that don't have anything on them. So wrap all the wrapped pegs and knit over and come back to uh, the end part will meet back up and I just wanted to say real quickly that I do have some basic videos and stitches on my channel and if you'll please go on there I have some playlists and things like that for bind off and stitches and everything like that and different looms so if you'll check that out and be sure and pause the video if you're not sure what's going on if you need to find another technique to help you before moving on to this advanced stage then uh, this is more immediate intermediate but 
if you um, are if you're having trouble please pause the video and rewind and uh, I get a lot of comments um, people asking questions that are actually in the video so please be sure and double check that first and um, I thank you very much we'll see you in a minute wrap all your pegs and knit over and come back Okay, we have finished uh, knitting off after wrapping, and we're going to move the four peg over to the three peg. So if you'll make sure and, and move those down, turn it and knit it over. Then go ahead and move on to your next section. We have finished knitting over and now we're going to move the four peg to the three. So if you'll take that, pick it up and move it over and knit off and do that in each section. And then we're going to wrap all the remaining pegs, knit over and come back. While you're still knitting over those four to three, I'm just going to show you me wrapping these rows. Um, Make sure to skip the pegs that are now empty. And you might want to double check them before you start knitting over. That's one tip. Um, sometimes I actually have missed them and then it's too tight for me to continue. So you might have to actually unwrap it. So save yourself some time and just kind of twirl your loom around and double check. And <clears throat> normally I don't hold my loom like this just to let you know. Uh, I actually kind of hold it up near me sort of vertical but I can't fit it on the screen that way right now and then when I knit over I actually turn the loom upside down and kind of gravity <laughs> well I wish gravity worked for it but basically I knit over downward I take it and move it down like that. I, to me I think that works um, faster uh, more efficiently if I'm trying to turn out some hats for people Oops, I'm sorry, I'm off, I am off camera. See, this is why I don't do this this way. I'm going to turn it back over. So continue wrapping and knit over, and we'll meet back up. This is the last one we're going to be doing. We're going to be moving the 6 over to the 5. So go ahead and pick that up, knit those over, and again, wrap all the empty pegs, knit over, and come back. Well, fantastic. You are done with this. You have decreased your crown and you should have half of your pegs remaining. So every other peg is going to be wrapped. We had 48. Now we have uh, 24 and that is the perfect amount to put on your blue nifty knitter round rent loom if you have that. Um, if not or if you don't want to have um, a flatter top, go ahead and um, thread through your um, remaining tail and close it off with a gathered bind off or I, I still like to call it a drawstring bind off. If you need to see my other decreased videos to see an easy way to do that, go ahead. But I'm actually going to jump on to part two. So please click over there to see me transferring it over and then you'll see what this actually looks like in the end if you just want to see what this hat looks like when I'm done with it. It's going to have a little bit more of a flat top. So. Thank you for tuning in to Good Knit Kisses. If you have any questions, please post them on this video. Check the links. And also, if you're tuning in to All Free Knitting's channel, please come over to Good Knit Kisses if you have questions direct to me, as I won't be able to see them. Um, I don't uh, own that channel, but they are courteous enough to put it up for me. So just wanted to let you know that I'm available for questions on my channel or on uh, the actual video on, um, on my site. Thank you for tuning in to Good Knit Kisses and my friends with AllFreeKnitting.com and I would like to thank you and wish you happy looming.